Bon air. Welcome back to Jeff Kanaga Live, right here at Citizen Television. We're here with the outspoken Sen uh, nominated Senator Millicent Omanga and Wajir women rep Fatima Gedi. Goodness gracious me, you should hear the conversation off the camera. Guy <laughs> Mwadani. Keep tweeting at Koenangi Jeff at Citizen TV Kenya. We'll read your tweets in a little short while. Ladies, okay, I'm going to start with you on this question. Hopefully, the senator will keep quiet for a little while. <laughs> okay, um, BBI, <coughs> Building Bridges Initiative. Yes. Okay, we don't quite know what it is, but it's, 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 it's coming together as something. Your thoughts? Okay, we all don't know what BBI will bring, for honest, yeah? But one thing we know, uh, His Excellency the President, gazetted, uh, eminent, respected uh, leaders of this country. The chairman is uh, Mze Yusuf Haji, who is respected really in this country and uh, a seasoned politician. I think it came after the handshake. And the question is, they brought nine points, um, uh, inclusion, you know, decisive uh, division, election, devolution, corruption, you know, mm. all that. And what they really wanted is, why are we always fighting? Why are we always having a de decisive country? After every general election, why are we, you know, shedding blood? Why are women killed, children killed? I think on that basis is when they came together and said, we don't want to go back from where we came from. And on that basis, that team was formed. The team went round to the 47 uh, county. I had the opportunity to present my views as the county women MP from Wajia when they came to Wajia. And even in Nairobi, as Embrace Movement Kenya, we had the opportunity to present also our views. And from where I sit, I think it's not good. We throw stones at the BBI at this very early yeah. stage. But you're still throwing stones at Punguza Mizigo. Is that a double standard? No, no. Let me, let, me, let, me, let me say this. BBI, we do not have yet any recommendation from BBI. But what we have, everybody gave, every county was given the opportunity to present their views. That's what we have for now. Mm. When that report comes, we will look at it. And it's all about interest. We will look at it, see, and, you know, support it. Yeah. But for now, the issue is Punguza Mizigu. What are we first punguza -ring? It is saying, like, from where I come, we have six constituencies. We remove the four constituencies. We remain with two, a female, male. You know how Waji is big. Let's say Turkana, they have how many constituencies? You're telling me that entire Turkana, where Dr. Ekuro Okot comes from, we have two, it doesn't make sense. And the other thing, it's saying we re uh, remove the, 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 the gains that we had, the affirmative action seats, the nominated senators like her now, mm -hmm. she's enjoying that one the nominated MPs, even the women rep that I, 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 you know, I... It would cease to exist. Yeah. So that does not mean we punguza the musical. What we need to punguza as a country is let us punguza the corruption first. And let's give the Kenyans the opportunity because Kenyans have given their views. Mm. So let's wait and see the views. And from that time, I think we can make a decision. Senator. Before I answer that, Jeff, I have to defend my party. I'm a Jubilee nominee and I have to defend my party. And uh, she accused us of uh, doing, uh, she didn't like how Jubilee conducted. You know, first, she's not a Jubilee member. She is a PDR member, so first. So when we are talking about parties, I understand my party constitution and what it provides. In our party, you can either uh, do the, the, the nomination, the normal way. You can do uh, through consensus. 
which we did, depending on the timings. Mm. You know, we had a very short time to actually conduct nomination. And we've seen it before, even with ODM, even last election, 2017, where uh, my friend Ongoro didn't get a ticket. She wanted to go for nomination in Ruaraka, yeah. and actually she missed because TJ was given a direct. My own MP in Westlands was given a direct mm. ticket. So it has happened before, even in Embakasi South. Mm. He was given a direct, so it is nothing new about it, and we didn't castigate it. So for Jubilee, you know, she might, I might excuse her because she's not a Jubilee member, she's a PDR member. But it's the so umbrella, she, it's Jubilee is, umbrella. Might not, so now you're discriminating who's no, Jubilee or No, she might not understand our party constitution. But she's elected, you're nominated. Yes, but <laughs> in, under Jubilee, what's the difference? Mm. It's the same umbrella. Yes, but. They have a different constitution. They have their party constitution. Okay, we BBI, have BBI, Punguza Mizigo. Yes. For me, Punguza Mizigo and, uh, and BBI are two different things. BBI was after the handshake, as she has said, on the nine agenda, and nothing to do about uh, the constitution unless now it starts to, 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 to come out that uh, they want a referendum and all that, because I've not actually seen it. For Punguza Mizigo, when I say Punguza, because I've been saying in podiums that I support Punguza Muzigo, for sure Kenyans want their burden reduced. And there's some aspect. For the first time, this one we saw, it was an equal, for the first time someone would think of uh, putting an equal number of women and men, 50-50, which was again, actually, if, if we can reduce the number of MPs and we put 50-50, such that we have, even if we reduce MPs to 100, yeah, but and we put 50 women and 50 men, yeah. it is a game for women. That are so big, so large. So no, th th that's another aspect altogether. What I'm saying, the thought of just putting an equal number of women and men, mm. it was a noble Yeah, you can't thought. even pass a gender bill. I mean, how are you going to pass this? You can't even pass a gender bill no. where you are. You know, this thing, when you look at it, eh, it's not all good. Like, I don't support the one-term president. I don't. But there's some aspect of it which is good. And maybe if Ikuro would have opened it up for some input from stakeholders, maybe it would have been a good thing. Yeah. But now they're the one-term president, then they've actually thinned the, the number, the representation to, to be 147, yeah. which is very... But the idea of actually having an equal number of women and men was a number no one no man would actually think of having you can imagine right now we have 348 yeah so if today then we say we are reducing back to 290 then we'll be having one one, one 140 women 140 men it's that, a that's idea. not gonna happen that thinking, it's not gonna happen no the thinking that's what i'm saying i was supporting it yeah. and for me actually reducing number not necessarily the way court has Put it, but reducing it to the bloated parliament yeah. we have, I support because we we, 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 we we are really. Yeah. <coughs> you know what, Mushmiwa, uh, the problem with the Kuru Accord is he yeah. catches feelings too much. Yeah. If you criticize his uh, bill, he'll, he'll yeah. catch feelings. Mm. And I think Senator Sakaja is the one who said it best when he <coughs> said, Feelings are chia dentist. Kabisa? <laughs> Kabisa? No, there's some Kabisa. aspect of his we do, we bill, which we is don't, good. We don't need feelings. Saying, Hold on. Yeah. We don't need feelings. And we don't need to be, you know, uh, emotional about, uh, you know, whatever you want to do. If it doesn't go your way, you need to fight. Mm. You, you know, that yeah. emotions, I think, to the Ache Tunyumbani. And why was it only approved in Wasingishu County, 027 only yes. so far? Exactly. Moranga just uh, kicked it out. Kirinyaga kicked it out. Why just uh, Wasingishu? But because we are, are wise. See the 47 I the know 47 that, but counties. so far. Because they are wise. Those are wise people. Really, Moranga people cannot allow to have two MPs from what they have now. And my sister here, I wish you could have presented these beautiful ideas that you now have and telling us, oh, you don't agree with the Kuro on this, but you agree on that. Or, you know, we had that opportunity in front of the BBI. Yeah. I wish you could. And then her but said, BBI, she's enjoying the BBI nomination. is not she's enjoying a constitutional nomination. amending body. 
Yeah. You know, that's what yeah. Punguza Mizigo, you cannot equate Punguza Mizigo and Bibi. That's it. She's because enjoying. Th those are two different. Those are two different. And that things. is the gains we had as a woman. These are and two for me, different. We will things. not allow you, that one to be taken. Mm. We will fight for it. No one would we will allow fight for it for women's yeah. seats, the gains we've had for women to be taken. But you're what supporting Punguza Mizigo. Mm. The thoughts. And Punguza is scrapping the women gains coming up <laughs> with a 50-50 sharing yeah, of women, happen. actually, Senator, it was a good thought. Feelings are cheer dentist. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Let me tell you, it was a good thought. No yeah. one has ever thought we would have mm. a 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying yeah. the thought sure. of it's having a 50-50 mm. is a good thing. Okay. Jeff, it's a big joke. Will, will Punguza Mizigo, will it? It will not. Will Even it cross today, 24 countries? It will not. Even today, Kiambu rejected it. Uh, Homa Bay did the same, mm. Muranga the same, Kirinyaga, but then I congratulate those counties because they and really, Wajir, well, the and Wajir, I'm telling you, they will not step in that door. You will reject it the same way we did. Jeff, you know you're not getting me. I said the thought of just having 50-50, it was a noble thought. And Kenyan want their burden reduced. I didn't say I support Ikuro or okay. both Punguza okay. Mzigo okay. bill. Okay. Yeah. And I say well, so you very don't support. clearly, BBI and Punguza Mzigo, it had two different things. Punguza Mzigo, it is, uh, Okura Koth has gone and gotten the million mm. signatures and is taken to the county so assembly and all yeah. that. Jeff BBI Mike. has not even come out. BBI is not a constitutional making body and they've not even gone through the process. In our constitution, yeah. it states clearly when we want to go to to change our constitution, what we should do. The way Ikuro did it, that's how it should be. Or it comes through parliament for constitutional amendment okay. in parliament. You know what? So, you guys, these are two different things. But you BBI guys, might, might not even propose for a referendum. You guys both being here reminds me of exactly what's happened to Jubilee. It's just tearing itself apart. It's split down the middle. Jubilee. Jubilee. Yeah. The Jubilee is party one. that was going to go forward as yeah. one Jubilee unit. Jubilee is one. Huh? Jubilee is one. But you are Ururuto. <laughs> but you're Tanga Tanga. No, we are Ururuto. Tanga Tanga is a media creation. <laughs> what does that mean? Yes, it's media. You started saying Tanga Tanga <laughs> and called some people Tanga Tanga. I'm not Tanga Tanga myself. I'm Ururuto. And Kieleweke? I wouldn't know. Kiele, unless she, she's in a better position, maybe. Push me to explain. Kieleweke, <laughs> Tanga Tanga? You know, it's not a media creation. It is the reality on the ground. Mm. Even the small kids know that. We have Tanga Tanga and we have Keleweke. Black and white. Jeff, I mean, Inua Mama. <laughs> and we have <laughs> Inua Mama and we have Embrace Kenya. Yes. You see? Yeah. So let us not run away from, no. the, from the fact that... And there that are those uh, Tanga yeah, Tangas who yeah. are saying, you know what, 2022 yes. is ours. Keleweke are saying, you know what? Yes. Legacy Wait first. a minute. Yeah. Siasa, Keleweke and Team Embrace the same. Maendeleo kwanza, siyasa badaye. 2022 itafika, Kenyans will decide. Yes, for, now, sasa. for now, let's give the president time to work. Mm. Maendeleo gani wanafanya kama embrace. Una agenda four. Ndi agenda five. Embrace, wanafanya agenda gani? Kuubiri amani. They say they are, they, are, they are preaching. You know, for them, it is BBI and handshake. When they go to any place, mm. when they invite Mbosi, mm. wakieka tetema. Mm. So it is when they are tetemering, mm. it is either BBI or handshake. We are talking about BBI and handshake. Bushmore. And you know, now, let me Jeff, say this. Let me say this. Please hold on. Eh? Uh -huh. you, you just relax. Learn how to give space. Eh? Please. You know, we are here to debate. Yes. You are talking. You know, yeah. you are relaxed. Let me now say this about uh, Embrace. Embrace Fun One, it was formed on the basis of uniting this country. Jeff, you know where we came from. You know, let her not just ignore. And handshake, it's not about fighting anyone. It's not. Handshake, it's about bringing Kenyans together. Handshake, it's about uniting this country. Handshake, it's about supporting the president to achieve his legacy. Handshake is about, you know, living a country that is united. And why are we saying that? As women embrace, what have we done? One. We did the femicide, you remember. My sister, she's saying, we, we are just there to preach. We did the femicide. When our, our girls were killed, it was Embrace who did the femicide. We did the food uh, security forum in Jaquat. That was Embrace. We presented our views to the BBI. I wish they could have done the same. Thirdly, 
there was this uh, and, uh, and we, we also did the health forum and now we are having a cancer week on October we are doing it in, in, in Nyeri you see we have policies as women legislators that we're bringing to the parliament on food securities and issues of health that is the standard and yet you're still sadly, under the same umbrella but you're fighting sadly, each other. no we are not fighting anyone I don't know from where we sit embrace and I want to challenge you and her to show us a single clip that embraces abusing or insulting a fellow women. That is not embraced. Our sisters, what they do, they went to Kirinyaga, they were insulting our, uh, the governor. The female, we only have two female governors now, you know, yeah. and they've been abusing them and insulting the same women. Where we are supposed to bring the women together and support each other and hold our hands together. Secondly, they were on the forefront abusing uh, the secretary administrative uh, Shebesh, Shebesh. they are the ones so as again uh, Jeff I want to again challenge you in all our forums you can play that clip show us where embrace women they are talking about 2022 politics and they're campaigning for anyone. But she just, Never. Said, she just said, you people just play in Boston. No, and, no, 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 no. Uh, no. Even so them, even Tetema. them, even them, they are the ones playing. Actually, after Embrace was formed, Inua Mama was formed to attack Embrace. For simple reason. They think from where they sit, maybe they think we are fighting anyone. We are not. Ask what you want. What is our president Again, telling us? Uh, wait a minute. Again, this yeah. is Jubilee. Uh, imploding. Jeff. It's imploding. Jeff, we are not fighting. It is because maybe we've got, we look at things differently as women. Inua Mama is a group of women parliamentarians who have come together and a chama called Inua Mama. You know, it's only women who can do chamas. You know the merry-go-round yeah. where we contribute money. We are almost 50 of us. We contribute money. Then we go round the constituencies of members to empower the machinani women. And that's what we've been doing. And how different are and you from see, these folks? I've not seen them empowering, but whatever they are doing also is not what they've told you. She, as she has told mm. you, they went to present mm -hmm. their views on BBI. Mm. So it is noble in their own way. At least they're empowered by presenting their views on BBI. For us, we are going to Mashinani women. I did mine in Nairobi, Jeff. I wish you'd have a clip where I empowered women, youth, yeah. and persons with a disability. I have a class <coughs> uh, in a Muslim primary, and you know, nowadays, public schools, all public schools nowadays have one class of uh, these children with mm. cerebral palsy yes. special unit, where I even donated a van for this children. I even have a bill on them, on the caregiver's bill, where, because the caregivers of these disabled children are not recognized by law. There is no policy framework to actually recognize caregivers. And you get most of these caregivers, the parents of these children, if, if, if a mother gets a cerebral palsy kid, unfortunately the men tend to run away. Mm. Most of them are single mothers. So they're suffering down there. So those are some of the things we are doing in Mashinani. And in each and every, the other day, last week we were in Ataita Taveta and you could see us in the market and going and empowering women. You'd see with gas cylinders, now it's about clean energy. Me, I don't want my women in Nairobi to use kerosene anymore because it's even expensive. Gas is now zero rated. And you saw how many we gave to women and, you know, showing yeah, them But wouldn't, wouldn't it make more go. sense if you all got together <coughs> as one woman group and, and in one team? But you know, why Jeff, we can have as many groups as possible for women. Mm. We are politicians. Like, you know, you know, Jeff, you let know, me finish. Wait, 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 Jeff, you, you Jeff, you yeah. Jeff, let yes. me finish. I have not. What I, I, I don't agree is, you know, for women, we've, we, we've, we've really, the women before us have really fought for the things we have. And actually, for women, we are supposed to fight for our own political space. Mm. We don't have to fight for the men. Today, my president, Uru Kenyatta, my deputy president, William Ruto, the, the former prime minister, Raila Odinga, 
can fight for themselves. They are men. It's not for us women now, Millicent Omanga today and Fatuma Gedi, to come and fight for their space. But that's exactly it what you're doing. That's exactly what you're doing. It is unfortunate yeah. that now women are going now to fight. Oh, we are saying, oh, yeah. respect, yeah. respect to this one. Why would I come to say, oh, respect, I'm, I'm fighting for your space, to, to, to ask people to respect you. You can be able, as a man, to fight for your and space. And when you it diss the women, governor of Kirinyaga, it is women who are marginalized who actually should fight for <laughs> their own space. You see, you empower women by bringing women together and fighting for their rights and their gains. You don't empower women by undermining others and insulting women leaders. Mm. Yeah. Secondly, embrace, you saw embrace in Wajia County, mm -hmm. Habeswenia, mm -hmm. where the acting now finance minister was the guest of honor. We gave out checks to the to the two schools. Gaf, gaf. Yeah. And then as NGAF, as what we do, we use uh, National Affirmative Action Fund together with national government projects to the people. Uh, in terms of water, uh, schools, you know, uh, the disability she has been talking about, I think it is actually, in fact, it was us who started the empowerment program. Yeah. Then they were doing a chama first. And I don't know, chama, I think chama is for the <laughs> for the Wamama Mashinani, but then they've been doing a fundraising kind of a fundraising. Us, we are the ones who started the empowerment programs. We were partnering with the national government together with the National Affirmative Action Fund to the Mashinani women. Okay, let me ask you one question. Yeah. Uh, when we were growing up, there were the likes of Martha Karua, Grace of God, Charity Ngilu. Those were the role models for women, right? Ungari Madai. Oh, Ungari Madai, thank you. You, as the next generation of women leaders, both of you, what do you think you bring to the table? Let's start with you, Senator. By empowering what we are doing now, we're empowering women social, economically, and politically, and mentoring these upcoming young women so that they can be leaders of tomorrow. That's what yeah. the agenda is. I will bring um, hope to the, to, the, to the next generation, and I'll bring an opportunity where they can work, support each other, and feel that they can be somebody, yeah. and feel that they can you know, work without intimidation. Would you, run, would you like to run for a real position one day? But I ran for a position this time. Yeah, I know, but you didn't yes. get it. Yes, would I you will. Do it again? I will. Would you run for governor? Sometimes, inshallah, but not now. Ladies, let's go to the war. Tweets coming in very <sighs> thick and very fast as we wait for the president who is addressing the United Nations General Assembly. He'll be coming on. It's actually seven <laughs> hours behind, so 11 minus 7 is 4. It's about 4.05 in the afternoon in New York. Let's read the tweets. Afran, Afra, uh, Arafat Noor 5 says, Jeff, could the Wajir woman rep inform us of any two initiatives that she has put in place to better the lives of Wajir women since she won that seat? Two. Two. One is Women Empowerment Fund, Revolving Fund. I gave women grants so that they can help each other. Secondly, uh, I did value addition for women, especially those who have businesses. Yeah. And okay. Yeah. And it's working? It is working, yeah. And they know that. The people of Bujia know that. Pulo Poluoch, I think, P-O-L-O-C-H, yeah, says, Jeff Tafadali asked the ladies what they have done so far and what plan they have for the future, especially for women. It's the same thing, but like, Senator, what plans do you have for the future? I'm just looking forward to have a woman president in this country. It's going to happen? Yes, it will. It will happen in soon. our lifetime? Soon, soon. Not <laughs> long. In our lifetime? Oh, yes. Support women. And actually, <laughs> maybe by 2022, we'll start by having a deputy who is a woman. Oh. Do you agree? I wish Omanga is <laughs> sincere. You start supporting them now because we have two great female governors who, if we support them, they can represent us up there. At the very top. At the top. But you see women at times, eh? you know you can't support. She's been talking about us saying about the cast and all that, the lady mm. cast. Mm. Mm. And, and uh, you're seeing two factions. There is the Nua Mama empowerment and there is the Embrace, Embrace. the ones who are bringing uh, views yeah. to BBI. And uh, if this is someone who's earning salary from government in the ministry of gender where are they supposed to be are they supposed to be partisan or they're supposed to really embrace all the women 
Exactly. Because if already yeah. they've taken side mm. and they think that it is a ministry of gender, yeah. they've already embraced one faction of the women and not this other one, which ours is Kewapa, it's purely members of parliament, mm. and they cannot work with that faction of women leaders, then yeah. what are we talking about? Can I give you guys advice for free? Mm -hmm. Free. Sure. Women are their own worst enemies. I agree with you. I don't think so. We I are politicians like any yeah. other politician, yeah, like men politicians. <laughs> Michieka Enoch says, woman leadership looks promising if what legislators Getty and Omanga are saying is implemented to the fullness. Okay. Tweets coming in so thick. Now SMSs, ah, text messages coming in. This is Keegan Coetch saying, Jeff, what are the women leaders up to? It's time they, as majority electorates, seek for top office. The women mm -hmm. of Kenya are ready to be at the forefront as candidates for presidency. You just said that. Yes. Is that going to happen anytime soon? Oh, Samson? it will. Charity Ngulu no, tried it in 1997. Yes. Remember? Yes. Uh, Against Daniel Aramoy. Let her try now. Maybe we will. She will give her a deputy president. What about for Kirinyaga? Now, then. Kirinyaga, she's going for governor. Oh, I don't know. She has not. <laughs> Charity Ngi, Ch Ngiru has tried and she has indicated yes. she's going for it. Yes. So that's what I'm saying. Let her try. And if we'll and my her. guru and Mombi, we'll, if she tries? We'll give her. We'll give her. Why not? And that's why I told you, even in Kibra, I was supporting a woman candidate. But the party, through its wisdom, chose Mariga. Yeah. And we decided to follow. I told you that. Jeff. Thank you very much for the offer. Yeah, we are listening and we will be following that. <laughs> <laughs> Take my advice. Yes. You are your own worst enemies. I don't think so. We are just politicians like any other man politician. It's only that you you, you find it easy to, 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 to say women know you are own enemies. Why don't you tell men? I tell Sakaja and Motila that all the time. That men are their own yes. enemies? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Then it's the same. Yeah. <laughs> Listen to Manga. Good yes. to see you. You see you too. Thank you. Moshimua. Thank you very As always, much. Asante Sana for your time. Thank you so much. Asante Sana, Jeff. And I uh, hope um, we can get somewhere with this. You know, you guys, okay, differences are fine, but the goal is one. So, Our eyes are on the ball. And Jeff, I want to say this. As we, you know, think about the future, the way you said women are their own enemies, I think you guys have also branded us too much. But again, the way also we are behaving, uh, people might, you know, we are also proving a point. So maybe going forward, I think my sister from where she sits and where we are, uh, let us, uh, you know, advocate for the women's gain in Inua, and let us also do the same in where we are. But when it comes to, you know, have as many these factions. other things, to mm. yeah, yeah. We have as and many factions us, as let possible. Let us work for this country. For the same let us stop the early campaigns. Let us help the president achieve his legacy. 2022 ikifika, tutaingia. Mimi nikichagulua ni hivo, ataya atachagulua, wengine, governors, MPs, kila mutu. But let us make use of these five years because it's not a lesser five years. It is a five years of presidency and it is a five years of parliamentary. Yeah. And we need to remind ourselves that. Kenya first, everything else second. Kenya first, everything second. Agenda four. Yeah. So. Big four agenda. Mm -hmm. Yo. The agenda for Yo, yo, yo. Mm. <laughs> Speaking of big four agenda, the president is about to address the United Nations yeah. General Assembly in a little short while. We'll be tuning to that shortly. In the meantime, remember these women, folks. They're outspoken. They're young. They're the next generation of women leaders. And I tell you, the future is bright for them. Up next at the UN General mm. Assembly,